Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create this framed 3D artwork with Spider-Man in the upgraded suit from the movie Spider-Man Far From Home, but also the mobile game Marvel Future Fight. I'm really excited about today's creation, the framed artwork of Spider-Man, in order to get really good 3D images of the character and of the new suit. I partnered up with Netmarble's Marvel Future Fight and today's video is also sponsored by them, a game which is downloaded a hundred million times and it's my favorite Marvel mobile game so far and there are over 190 Marvel characters in the game you can play. We definitely should have a look at some gameplay later. But let's first create the skeleton, the aluminum armature for our character, Spider-Man. If you're wondering why I am creating this posture, well, I thought to be um, anatomically correct, I would create just this regular normal posture and I would bend all the legs and arms after the main, the core creation is finished, because then I will be sure that all the legs and arms will be in the exact right position, but also they will have the right length. I hope you get me. Yeah, that's the upgraded suit you have just seen from the game. Maybe it's about time to tell you more about today's sponsor, Netmarble's Marvel Future Fight. Here we go. For those of you who are wondering what's the game about, well you have to assemble your own ultimate team from more than 190 Marvel superheroes and villains. I told you that before. Fight for the future in different tasks, in different campaigns. With the upcoming new Spider-Man movie Far From Home there is a lot of new content which was added to the game. We have the legendary battle for example or this character Mysterio for example or Molten Man. Look at that guy. I would really love to play as Molten Man in the game. But this is Spider-Man, the new suit I am creating and I am using the game as 3D model reference for my creation. Now let's jump back to the creation itself. This is a really really dark blue. I mixed it myself by taking the, I think it's called the royal blue together with um, some black and silver and you get this nice color. These images are all taken from the game from Netmarble's Marvel Future Fight to have a perspective from all sides of the character. Now we take some red, the second most important color for Spider-Man. These are the boots which are red only and we try to get them into shape as well and to get them onto the wire. Maybe some of you are wondering why am I creating a second Spider-Man on my channel? I've done that, well it's I think two years ago, the hanging Spider-Man, I will link it in the description. Um, well, I think I have two main reasons for that. First of all, I love Spider-Man. It's my most beloved Marvel hero, I think. As a child I played Spider-Man all the time by throwing different ropes, white, white ropes, through our flat and playing together with my brother. Well, the second reason would be uh, the first creation I did, it's, well, just the hanging Spider-Man. And I knew that I, back, back in the days, that I should have created a more action-oriented creation, like this one, like the one we are creating today. Again, this posture doesn't really look like action at all. It looks like, well, the one from the reference 3D models from the game. 
but we will now try to bend it carefully. Oops, it, it cracked a little bit, but we will repair this in a minute. But you, if you, <laughs> if you make this technique, you make sure that all the posture looks natural, that it looks right. So it would be just too difficult to create a posture like this right away. I tried this many, many times and most of the times it works somehow. But when looking twice, I see that, let's say a leg is too short or one of the arms is a little bit crooked. Well, yeah, I think you get me. Now let's create the fingers. This one turned out pretty well. The other hand is quite important because this one will be the one grabbing the spider string when he is swimming, sw swimming, yeah, that, that's the right word. When he is swinging through the city, through New York, these will be the eyes. And first I thought about painting them, so this would be also an option if you have a black pen, acrylic pen for example, and a white one. Most of the time white is... Um, I don't know why, my white pens are all drying out really really quickly. The black ones are fine. So this time I decided to create the eyes with clay, a very very thin layer. Now this is silver, dark silver outline to the suit itself and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Spider-Man from the movie Far From Home. But also it looks like the one from the game Netmarble's Marvel Future Fight. Now I start painting because there is no way to create these tiny tiny spider web lines with clay. You would just go crazy probably over creating these tiny lines with black clay. Well, you can try this. <laughs> if you don't know what to do with your time. It turned out pretty great. Now the last lines of the spider web. And then, well, till now it's a quite regular tutorial, I would say. But now, well, not now, but in a minute, we are changing the workings place to create the city, to create the frame, the artwork itself, or the other part of it, at least. I forgot to create the spider. So we finish this, of course. And close the pen! And we are changing the working place. Still in the studio, but we have some more space right here for this huge frame I bought. I bought it for this project. Before we start creating the city, I wanted to show you two things from the game Netmarble's Marvel Future Fight. First thing would be the new stealth suit. First I thought about creating this one because it looks that amazing. I mean, look at the details. The mask. And the second thing I wanted to show you is the new theme which was added from the latest movie Spider-Man Far From Home. This is the legendary battle. You play as Mysterio versus Hydro Man. And there are even two further stages to the legendary battle where you play as Spider-Man using the stealth suit we have just seen and the upgraded suit from Spider-Man, of course. Now let's switch weapons. <laughs> this is the hot glue gun and we start building the very first skyscraper. Is it a skyscraper? Well, it's just a regular building which looks like as if it is standing in New York City careful with the hot glue gun. It, yeah, that happens a lot. It happens a lot <clears throat> that I am burning my, my fingers with the hot glue gun. Well, but I can't complain. <laughs> I still love the whole process of creating stuff like this. This is the front of the, of the building. Um, when creating a building like this, you have to think about the function of this building. It's not about the building itself, about the details for example. It's 
like it's more like a supporting actor in a movie. It's not about the building itself, it's more about the main character, which is Spider-Man. So I make sure that the colors are not too aggressive and that the, mm, the details are not too much compared to the main actor, which is Spider-Man again. So I think you you understand me, you, you get me. You have to figure out what's most important for your artwork and then you make sure that everything else is supporting your main thing. I hope this was explained um, in a good way. <laughs> I built everything from cardboard, which is also a really fun way to create stuff because it's really super lightweight. You most of the time you get it as waste when buying products or getting some gifts. I just collect every cardboard thing I can get <laughs> because well you never know what you want to, to build from it. For example this building is made from different cardboard stuff things uh, where the the clay sculptor the the modeling the modeling tool is um, is coming in for our online store so we get like 20 modeling tools in one of these boxes i just used and then we keep them we keep them for our um, environments we are building for the stop motion projects but also for a video like this one so this is really satisfying to paint everything after you finished um, the, the creation, the building for example. I try to get in some more details. This is the second building and about this building we can even be more careless. This means um, less details and less strong colors. I am throwing in a lot of white acrylic paint that the colors are not shining too much because now we have to prioritize. We have Spider-Man first, then the big building would be second and third object in our artwork would be this building in the back side. And this means it has to step back. These are the windows. I printed out some images from different games and movies because I was looking for a nice scenery from New York City for, from uh, Spider-Man's perspective. I am painting the sky from this image and then I just cut it out. It's not even a really good paper, it's just regular copy paper from our printer and the studio. I make sure to get this building right. It's just a random building. Empower State Building, of course. And we are gluing the second building into our frame as well. And I am already really curious what the final version of our framed artwork will look like. I make sure that there is no edge, disturbing edge. I am painting the last windows. It already looks so interesting. Try to get in some more details to the first building. I saw an image from a Spider-Man movie with these blinds in front of the windows. This is just acrylic transparent paper for a nice shiny effect on the windows. And now I take the hand drill <coughs> to, to build on a structure, function, whatever to get Spider-Man hanging into our artwork. I'm painting this wooden pen black that it can't be seen or recognized that easy. And with a hot glue gun, I get Spider-Man into position. And now the last thing missing are the spider strings, the characteristic spider strings. <laughs> And I just take some wire for that, but I will also um, wrap around a very, very thin rope, white rope, painting the wire. And I think this should be the last working step. Well, what, what's missing for an artwork? Yeah, the frame, of course, the frame. And maybe we could add a signature clay. Lame. 
That looks nice. Like a real artwork. <laughs> I guess! That's it! That's huge! Spider-Man swinging in the frame! Before today's video is over, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Netmarbles Marvel Future Fight. Thanks a lot. Go check out this amazing game. Go check out this amazing character with the new suit, Spider-Man, the upgraded suit, also in the game. Download the game by using my link down in the description. I guess that's it for today. Have a great weekend and take care, guys. Bye.